Hey everybody. Alright, I just wanted to talk thermal winter bedding a little bit more. And kind of what my, if I were setting up a property, kind of what my ideal thermal cover would look like. So right here, I got a bunch of white pine that were planted 15 years ago. And then you can see the spruce on the outside here. So I like this setup because I have the thermal protection here on the side, and then I also got the thermal protection up top. So that sets up really well for bedding for a deer trying to get out of the winter elements here in the North Country. I mean, this is probably not a great day to show just the amount of activity that's in here because it's snowing, so a lot of it's been covered up by the snow. But this area is loaded with sign. There's tons of old beds like this one. You can see the impression in right there. And they're bedding right in these areas because they have total thermal protection from the elements. So <clears throat> it wasn't planned this way when these trees were planted. But I love the fact that we have the, the screening cover over here. So not only is giving that thermal protection, but also screening that they're bedding in here. And then we have the thermal protection from above with the white pines. And the deer don't... I mean, they'll bed alongside the spruce, but they love being able to get completely out of the snow. So that's where white pines are nice because eventually these branches um, start to just kind of naturally prune themselves and disappear. And they still get the, uh, the protection from above, but they can bed up underneath and, and get out of the elements when it's snowing and nasty and windy and all that stuff. So this is great, great thermal cover great winter cover. I know I'm not a huge proponent of monocultures, but having some pockets like this of dense conifer stands, you know, planned accordingly, uh, work really well in the north. Because scattered spruce or scattered white pine, you're not going to have deer bedding them in them this time of year. And we plan for you know, 12 years around out at our farm, and this is the time of year the deer are the most stressed. So I want some of this. Yeah, there's not much for food. Um, but sometimes they don't, they don't need the food component. If we have adjacent woody stems, which we do, just outside of those spruce, there's tons of woody stems for them to browse on. Um, that's fine. They'll still bed here, even though there's not that food component because it's such great thermal cover. I mean, you can see this area is just loaded with tracks. It, again, it's tough to, tough to see with the, uh, the snow today, but they're in here and there's beds dotted all the way along this trail with that nice spruce thermal cover so anyway just something to think about if you have more of a blank slate area and you're in the north and you don't have a thermal cover component to your land this is something you can do get a nice dense conifer pocket white pines on the inside spruce on the outside and the deer will use it to get out of the uh, the winter elements it definitely helps to lower those stress levels all right you all take care god bless